Good nutrition and what you put in your body is the foundation for good health. Your diet plays a huge role in weight management, energy levels, and even your mood. But did you know that it could help save your life too? That's the whole idea behind the food as medicine movement, a philosophy that many people are now catching on to. The notion that certain eating styles have the potential to influence disease prevention and reversal, along with quality of life, health, and longevity. What you choose to eat has profound effects on your overall health. While certain foods may trigger chronic health conditions, others offer strong medicinal and protective qualities. Thus the argument for food is medicine. Yet diet alone cannot and should not replace medicine in all circumstances. Although many illnesses can be prevented, treated or even cured by dietary and lifestyle changes, many others cannot. If food has the power to reverse much of the chronic illnesses we experience today, then it makes sense to alter our diets and use it to our own advantage not only to heal and restore the body, but also to prevent illness. Although taking pharmaceutical drugs for ailments may be useful, they often come with short and long-term side effects and contribute to toxic buildup in our bodies. While drugs are important in life-threatening situations, if long-term conditions can be managed with diet and lifestyle changes, then using food as medicine must be considered as an initial way of tackling the issue and preventing future health problems. Food as medicine is a term which was originally coined by Hippocrates, the father of Western medicine. It was his belief that eating wholesome food is the basis for good health. Let food be thy medicine and let medicine be thy food. Hi, I'm Rishi and thanks for stopping by my channel. I'm a practicing nutritionist with a background in human physiology and nutritional sciences. Here, I take a holistic and scientific approach to all aspects of health and wellness. I use food and lifestyle changes to optimize one's nutrition, to promote longevity and healthy aging. So if you want to hack your health span and be the best version of yourself, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you don't miss anything. The core notion of holistic health is to treat the body as an entire ecosystem. Usually, you learn about the body as a bunch of separate parts, the heart, lungs, kidney, liver, gut, etc. Typically, one goes to a specialist doctor with symptoms specific to their domain, like for skin issues to a dermatologist. But it's all connected. The truth is the body is one single system. This systems model approach allows one to find the root cause for a disease or condition versus just focusing on the symptoms alone. Following this approach is what leads one to realize that the entire body is connected like an intricate web. Our body is primarily made up of seven different systems and how they're in sync or out of balance can account for most diseases. These comprise of 1. The gut, digestion and microbiome, 2. The immune system, 3. The energy and cardiovascular system, which includes the heart, lungs and mitochondria. 4. The detoxification system and how we process metabolic and environmental toxins. 5. The transport system comprising the blood and lymph. 6. The communication system made up of our hormones and neurotransmitters. And lastly, 7. The structural and musculoskeletal system, which is the biomechanical cell structure, our muscles and bones. All these together influence how you feel in any given moment, dictating how sick you may or may not be. Looking at them as a matrix and identifying imbalances in these systems, one is able to see where things may have gone wrong. While considering factors such as sleep, exercise, hormones, nutrition, and stressors like relationships, connections, or work. Functional medicine is a new way of thinking about disease. It's not based on the label of the disease or its symptoms, rather it's based on the root cause of that disease. The paradigm around conventional medicine is about diagnosing a disease and treating its symptoms. Functional medicine is about treating the underlying cause and not the symptoms manifested. And this is done by looking at your diet patterns and lifestyle behaviors. This is the area of functional medicine and it's about creating health through food. For example, if someone has skin issues like psoriasis or eczema, there are autoimmune conditions related to gut dysbiosis or imbalance. But when you see a dermatologist, it's likely they may treat your symptoms with topical solutions for your skin or immunosuppressant medication or steroids to lower your inflammation by lowering your immune cell activation. But they don't really look at or treat your gut microbiome, which is the root cause. Food has the power to heal us. It is one of the most potent tools we have to help prevent and treat many of our chronic diseases like type 2 diabetes, cardiovascular issues, dementia, and cancer. Food is healthcare. Medicine is sick care. Health practitioners and scientists are now uncovering the benefits and the whole notion that food is information. 
that speaks to our genes and triggers messages that create health or disease. Food can be thought of like a signaling molecule. Food is information, not just calories. It's instructions like code that programs your biology with every bite. This is why a calorie is not just a calorie, and why a 300 calorie donut isn't the same as eating a 300 calorie salad. The information they contain is different. They may have the same energy value, but the nutrients within them are different. And your body uses that information and performs accordingly. Thinking about what's at the end of your fork can help you avoid specific illnesses that arise due to years of unhealthy eating. The good news is that these can be reversed with the help of a good diet. Your genome is your hardware, but your epigenome is the software that runs on top of that hardware. The epigenome are your genes. At that epigenetic level, the food you eat changes your gene expression. Your genetics may load the gun, but your environment pulls the trigger. Just because you may have a family history of cardiovascular disease or cancer doesn't mean that you will personally manifest that in your lifetime. The foods you eat, the lifestyle you lead, and the level of activity in your life, along with your stressors, sleep patterns, all together dictate the outcome of certain disorders in your life. Every single system in your body is regulated by the quality of the food that you eat, which is why you shouldn't focus on just calories, you should focus on quality and the information that you're eating. This changes everything. It changes your relationship with food. It changes the mindset needed moving forward. There is a very simple and scientific way to become the best version of yourself. It just needs patience and consistency. The aim is to use food as the core therapy in addressing various diseases and lifestyle disorders. My point isn't to put people on diets, rather make lifestyle changes they can stick to and teach them how to create health from the foods that they consume. How to use this to treat the conditions they're suffering from and how by eating healthier, they're able to manage these symptoms and treat the underlying causes. We need to look at each of our unique individual physiology at things traditional doctors may not look at. And this is what being a holistic nutritional practitioner is about. There is a way to redefine the concept of aging and health span. The problem is we aren't eating food anymore. We're eating food like products. The first thing to think about if you're planning on giving your diet an overhaul is to ensure that you have a healthy digestive system. This is vital to guarantee that you're efficiently burning your food and effectively extracting the nutrients from it. Diseases are often associated with vitamin and mineral deficiencies or food sensitivities. So having a healthy digestion and knowing what foods work for you is really important. If you're generally not sick, you should be including a plant-rich diet across the entire spectrum. Vegetables, fruits, nuts, seeds, lentils, beans, legumes, full of colorful polyphenols and phytochemicals, and whole grains like quinoa and rice. More antioxidants, healthy fats, quality protein sources, and lesser starchy vegetables. Health is more dependent on habits and nutrition than on medicine. Listen to your body and see how it feels with what you're consuming. You may want to consider a food elimination diet to find out which foods you may have a sensitivity or allergy to. For some people, raw food, although perceived as healthy, is way too hard on their inflamed and delicate digestive systems. They may need to begin by incorporating a liquid diet, such as juicing and having soups or broths and easily digestible foods, until their gut heals. If being on a dietary detox by removing these elements heals your autoimmune disease, your digestive issues disappear, brain fog clears, migraines are gone and you feel less bloated, then it's probably a sign that your body likes that. Numerous foods have specific healing properties such as garlic and onions which include antibiotic and antifungal properties. Particular chronic conditions such as arthritis and celiac disease benefit from a specialized diet and avoiding particular foods like gluten or dairy. There are foods which reduce inflammation and ones that help lower cholesterol such as fish and omega-3 fatty acids. It's always good to try and get the nutritional benefits from your food and not rely on synthetic supplements. If you're not eating enough vegetables in life right now, then please hit that like button so you start eating more. Fueling up on superfoods is a great way to provide the body with nutrients and not overeat. Leaving out processed food and preservatives is one of the easiest ways to clean up your diet. The reality is that because we have shifted away from natural remedies and many of us rely on a diet of processed, fatty and sugar-laden foods, the consequences are that rates of obesity and disease have increased significantly. All that your body can operate on are the foods that you choose to put into it. Healthy, nutrient-rich and alive foods help to heal the body 
at a cellular level and build strong defenses, enabling you to combat illness and environmental toxins. Being healthy means putting the right fuel into your body and having your internal engine run smoothly. Every meal that you consume influences the way that you feel one way or another. So the more nutritious foods you choose, the healthier you will be. Whole foods act as a medicine to heal and protect your body and give the immune system a break from dealing with toxins, preservatives, additives, and chemicals that are included in so many of today's processed foods. The body is this interconnected, complex, self-healing organism. And the body's ability to self-heal is amazing. There's an intelligence in the body to want to fix itself. Functional medicine is about getting rid of the things that impair health and putting in the things that help the body thrive. Then the body can take over and with its amazing intelligence, repair and heal from all sorts of things. Centuries ago, the earliest known doctors and health practitioners across the world imparted the benefits of using food as medicine to heal the body. And now, based on research, it is clearly evident that food plays a major role in health and how you feel on a day-to-day -day basis. Hippocrates believed that illness stemmed from inadequate nutrition and bad eating habits, and that if people were to learn good eating habits, then optimum health would be restored. Long before doctors and medicine were commonly used, wise tribal elders would seek out healing herbs and plants for the community, and food would be applied prescriptively to bring about healing. Slowly, through the years, humans have moved away from the healing power of nature and towards prescribing packaged synthetic drugs and artificial remedies to deal with illness. Eating nutritious whole foods is important because their unique substances work synergistically to create an effect that can't be replicated by taking a supplement. Thanks for watching this video. If you found value in the information I've shared, then please consider subscribing and hitting that like button. Drop me a comment if you have any feedback for me, I'd really appreciate that.